Which Mayweather, I know you and Mayweather, uh, did you spar with Mayweather before Connor? No, no, no. We never actually did. We never got around to sparring. Was he mad at you for something? I was, I was, uh, but no, I was, I was moving around. I was, you know, I was getting ready to fight too. So by the time that they had asked me to, my fight was coming up. So I, you know, I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta focus on my own stuff, you know. And they, and they understood it. So it now it Mayweather, I, I said he might go do MMA. Yeah, and then I, he's I, been training. Oh my god! People say he's been training <laughs> two or three years in jiu-jitsu and wrestling is there any who said that that's the word on the screen. who said that? that that's the newest oh rumor God. that's the newest who, rumor who's saying that look if if <laughs> and, I, and i said this the other day like if mayweather was to do it and i mean he could do it but how's he gonna I just do don't see no signs of him doing it you know what i mean like i'm around his like he's not doing no kickboxing <laughs> So you haven't seen him pulling go-go platters in the gym? Or <laughs> come on, come on. Mayweather ain't putting up with that shit. This, man, this nigga 40 years old. He He's going to do Icy Hot commercials. Yeah, right. That ain't, look, I'm telling you right now, that ain't going to happen. So you haven't uh, seen any of that? Nah, if he do, then, I mean, I give him, I get a man more respect than I already have for him if he end up doing that because – uh, some little, you know, he's gonna have to fight the smallest guy in the UFC for one, and then the dude's gonna toy with him, and it's it's, it's yeah, gonna be embarrassing. Gonna be I don't I don't see it happening. Now people have saying that you and Gaethje might be a, a, a potential next matchup. Uh, did you watch? You watched obviously that Alvarez fight. What did you think about that? The good thing is I got a lot of options now. Nah, you know what I mean? Like like I'm sitting on it. I'm taking some time. Uh, because when I come back, I'm gonna be way different. Who it is that I come back against? Who who lucky enough to uh and who dumb enough to sign that line? Like that I don't know. That's still kind of up in the air. You know we got uh Khabib and, and Barboza. And, uh, Barboza are fighting this weekend. I'm gonna be in in the building for that. Now if you fought uh, Gaethje, would, would you be? A, I like a little bit better than Gaethje. Well, yeah. Now a lot of times they do two people are coming off losses, two people coming off wins. That's how they match. Yeah. Now Gaethje, would you uh get into one of his ridiculous rock'em sock'em robot fights with him, or would you be smarter? And you know, it, it, it's it, he don't even realize it now. He gon' realize it. Like that, that chin gone. That chin is gone. Like I'm gonna touch him and he gonna fall. Like that's that's it. It ain't gonna be no punch back. It ain't gonna be no sitting behind his guard. I'm gonna keep touching him and he gonna fall. And then once he falls, I'm gonna get on top of him and I'll beat the fuck out of him. Like that's, that's, <laughs> that's the game of it. The way you I said mean, that, if, I, if, <laughs> I got kind of turned on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna touch him. I'm gonna get on top of him. And I'm, gonna the, I'm gonna put the shit out of him. <laughs> I mean, no lie though. No lie. With Gaethje or Alvarez, whichever one. Damn. Like I like either one. Like those are good fights. They both take a. They, they both like to take a lot of damage. I like to give a lot of yeah, damage. It, like, it sounds like a but match you'd be made a smarter in heaven. Fighter than that though, right? I mean, you're not. Gonna, of course. I mean, I, I thought you were a smart fighter until you 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 went back into a triangle after you escaped an armbar. <laughs> so, th 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 now now I'm not so sure. But but it, but I mean, it seems like you're more not. You're not gonna get into one of these. Like Michael Johnson. Oh like, no, he nah. was the perfect fighter for Gaethje because if yeah. Mike Johnson gets, he's gonna get sucked into that kind of a fight. Yeah, yeah, and Johnson's much smaller. You know what I mean? Doesn't have as much power. Uh, doesn't have the strength and like the clinch to really like hold him or or, or move him. Uh, and I do, and I, and I would just beat him everywhere if, if Gaethje was the one to come back. But I don't even know if it's gonna be Gaethje. We'll see. I, I like I'm gonna sit on it. Like I said, Khabib and, and, and Barboza are fighting this weekend. I'm, I'm interested in that. I don't know. It's going to be a close one. Uh, I see Barboza's got that firepower. He'll win like the first round, maybe round and a half, and then he'll break because he, I don't know, Barboza like a little bitch. But if he wasn't such a like a little bitch, then he would he would he should smoke Khabib. Why is he a little bitch? He bitch out in some fights. Like let's 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 be honest. Like you watch his fights just as much as I do. He be bitching out. Who is he like, who's he out against? Like honestly, like I I think what it is. He got caught uh, against Tony. I mean, no, he just, he, you could just see the mindset switch. You know, it's just like Michael Johnson. Like, Michael Johnson, he, he bitch out in fights. I mean, he'll tell you. Like, he bitches out. Like, it's <laughs> He's cool. He's not going to say, I bitched out in fights. I, I, he probably ain't going to tell you, like, on air or nothing, but because they ain't real like that. Like, I mean, but he do. Uh, Barboza, what I feel like is he's such a good athlete. He's probably so used to shit going his way. When shit don't go his way, then then he bitch out. And that's what's going to happen against Khabib. He, he going to try his best. Uh, he he gonna try his best and and then Khabib gonna still be there. Khabib still gonna be putting the pressure on him and then he gonna bitch out and it's gonna come down to the wire. I think it's gonna come down to a close fight. But uh, I I see maybe Khabib taking it. Barboza might edge it from his work in the early rounds. I don't know. We'll now see. Khabib has a six pack now. 
Have you seen it? Is there a picture of him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen that. He looks great. Yeah, now, but like a lot of times nine. when fighters do that, like when fighters, it seems like a lot of times when fighters have like guts, like Johnny Hendricks, when he had that like belly, he was knocking fuckers out. Yeah. Then he had an eight pack and he got fucking shellacked. True. And it seems like a lot of times fighters, when they have that like gut, that weird yeah. belly, yeah. almost like that's like their thing and it's yeah. good for them. And then when you see guys get a new fitness trainer and like, yeah, that's great if it was a bodybuilding competition, but in fights, yeah. it's... It, is there uh, some kind of a fear of that happening with Khabib? I mean, maybe. I think what it is is just changing up what got you there. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta dance with the one that you uh, yeah, that you came with. No. Like why change? You know, I think he's I think he's listening to too much of the criticism. You know, people giving him too much shit about the weight and the tiramisu and them Russians. Like they some proud motherfuckers. Like if you talk about them in, in one area or another, they gonna try and prove you wrong. So like if you talk about he fat and he out of shape, he gonna be like, all right, well I'm about to show you. Like I yeah. can I can be smaller than you ever <laughs> seen before, and it just fucks up his whole formula. You know, because Khabib is normally the bigger stronger fighter if he came into this week at 169 he probably only gonna balloon back up to 171 something like that you know 172 uh he might take away a lot of his, his now, strength and listen to people you talk a lot of shit about dagestanis uh, sure and now when you when you go on instagram do they just attack you the people from because like, yeah i don't even really go on it but yeah yeah they you don't do even know what they they're do. saying these people not uh <laughs> it's, it's a couple that are around the gym because uh dewey cooper he trains a lot of russian fighters uh it's a couple around the gym and they'll show me like the tweets and they'll show me like especially on instagram like they'll show me on instagram and then they'll translate the shit for me and then a couple <laughs> of them i even had a couple of them like make videos back in russian for me Wow. And like trying to talk to the folks, uh, I don't even like going back. You know, I don't go back and forth with the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. I I'll got let a them have Russian it. Russian kid on my team, like from Dagestan, nicest kid in the world. But it's actually hard to coach him because he does kickboxing, wrestling, jujitsu, and boxing. He's 12 years old, and he has like an ah, out of shape look. Ah, but damn. he has that style where his wrestling is like like his single leg, like snatch singles. Yeah. He doesn't shoot in really. His upper body. But he's great, but it's different wrestling than I'm used to yeah. teaching. Yeah. So it's hard to actually, I don't want to ruin what he's doing right, but at the same time, it's hard to coach that. It, it, it's Russian style. Uh, when I was up in, in Canada and I was training a little bit with George, uh, we went to one of those those Russian, uh, and it was straight, you know, freestyle. And, and the guy, the coach, the, the coach didn't even coach. You know what I mean? The coach was just sitting there while there was like a four-hour practice going on. And you kind of just get up and you you just ask somebody like, hey, you want to go over there and wrestle? And like, they'll go over there and you have a full match and they'll, they'll try and fuck you up. Like, it's not like really like a team aspect. Like, I feel like American style is a little bit different than yeah. that. That Russian style, like they they just got a different style of wrestling. It's, it's, and it's weird and it's, it's different. But then that's why I want to, you know, I tried to show it against the Dagestani kid when I fought in Ireland. Uh, art, my style just better. Like, and I was gonna show it. I was gonna show it versus Khabib too. I told him I wasn't bullshitting. Like, me and Khabib can have a full on wrestling match, and I, I'm a tech for him. Like, my style just better. Like, they they got their own thing what they doing. But now, last time you went to Ireland, you said the girls looked unhealthy, uh, <laughs> and, and you said that everyone looks like just strange out there. S sound like something I would say. Uh, did, did any did any blowback from Irish women? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of it. I mean, but I get blowback, man. Right? Come on, <laughs> it, 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 that's just the name of the game. Look, when you get out there and you say enough shit like some shit gonna come back to you so uh, it, it was sure. so funny i think people know that like you're kind of kidding around though and they realize you're a nice guy and to, to a certain extent i'll be kidding <laughs> oh, really? yeah. so i mean they do got bad genetics in our, i mean you I said mean, that it's, it's said. true like said, they know genetics. it though don't they <laughs> i i don't think they gotta no, know it. why do they have bad genetics they gotta know it come um, on i mean it's it's just uh, you said it was. Just, they said that it was like recessive genes. They have lots of, I, don't think, I mean, that's what it is. You though. Be a I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It's a recessive gene. Like when you pale and have orange hair, like that's it's it's recessive. <laughs> like I mean, I fucking took I, I took genetics in, in college or high school. Yeah, they I, say like it's it's genetics. It's like one out of like and a, they said a, Irish people one out of bad, sixteen bad chance genes that they said they have bad genes. It's a one out of sixteen chance that you look like that. And y'all all look like that. Like it's gotta be. So you bad. think, so <laughs> like, you think Canelo has bad genetics? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it he got recessive genes for sure, <laughs> for sure. Compared uh, compared to the rest of Mexicans, I mean, look, come on, black is beautiful. Black on, you know, come on, it's, it's gonna mm -hmm. it's gonna overshadow it. So if you ain't got no black in your life, you going wrong, you're right? White and saying this, uh, <laughs> you, like, that's, that's you're black. <laughs> yeah, no, I, people always think you're half black. I thought right? you're Hispanic. 
Uh, I am half black, but uh, you are half black. I don't know what the other half You're is. Actually, Dominican. Uh, for Christmas, I got a, I got a. Uh, Ancestry.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ancestry thing. 